Devontae, you. Oh, okay. Devontae, you had seven assists and only three turnovers tonight. And obviously, you've been playing really well lately. I guess what was you know working really well for you, especially tonight. Um, I think mainly just hitting the open man, coming off the ball screens, um, seeing the bigs, and just playing simple. I think you said it's something similar after Rutgers. You said something about simplifying your game, that you feel like simplifying your game has just allowed you to be more successful. What does that mean, I guess, in, in real terms? Um, not trying to make a home run play, not trying to make um, the difficult play, just seeing what's there and making that play. Devon, these last three, four games with Devontae, where have you maybe seen the biggest difference in his play as, as opposed to maybe a month or so ago? Um, just like repeating what he said, just making the simplest play. Um, just he's playing within himself, and just playing within the system at the same time. And he's just making plays for others. And when uh, that happens, it opens up things for him. As you see, he uh, got hot from behind the line earlier today. And as they closed out on him, he started driving and making the uh, extra pass. Uh, really, just. Um, having one another's back, um, especially in rotations. I know uh, because after Purdue, that was a huge emphasis for us, just uh, help, helping each other in the rotations. And I think those last two games, we've done that. And just staying within the pack line, not trying to overextend and deny our man and things like that. Um, it's definitely helped um, coming over, just just getting into a rhythm, coming into the game, and um, mentally getting into a rhythm and staying consistent throughout the games. Oh uh, yeah, it was. We just wanted to really not settle and not give up easy baskets so that they could get back into the game. And we locked down on defense. And as we did that, it opened up our offense. Um, we've really just been emphasizing sharing the ball and um, making the, the right read, driving to pass. So I think it's been a big help. Um, in the last couple of games. Jack. Uh, what's Freddie done for you? Talking about maybe some of the changes in the starting lineup, having him next to you to start games. What's different maybe when you've got him in there? Um, it's definitely a different look on um, being able to play at my natural position at the four and be able to, uh, to just give help where it's needed with Freddie um, because he holds his own every single game and just being able to provide the help and still be able to do my own job for the team. Um, it's definitely a different look, but I think it's uh, been helpful for us. Mark, just to kind of piggyback off that, how does he jump so high? Do you have any idea? <laughs> you see his legs? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever seen anybody jump like that? I mean, it's, he's got some lift off there. It's a rare no. sight, rare sight. Yeah, I sure. haven't seen him much. Go ahead. what does work inside mean for him with the empty Um. Really just trying to take away all easy angles for him to score, um, making every shot as tough as possible and not letting him get anything easy. And I think that kind of took him out of his game and then let him get too good of a rhythm. Uh, I think it was a process, definitely. It's nothing that we didn't work on every day. It was just finally uh, breaking through that door. Um, and then once we did that, it's just we've just been on the roll now. Devontae, how much did not playing much against Purdue really maybe be the final catalyst for the way you improved your game? Because since that, you you play much better. Um, I wouldn't say it had that much of an effect. I just really stuck stuck with what I've been doing, and um, mentally stayed with it and stayed in the game, and um, just came to compete every day.